Hello. So I'm feeling particularly motivated about the topic of email today. Um, you know how sometimes when you sign up for emails or something, you can tick that little box that says, please don't email me every time anything happens. Um, send me an email like once a week or maybe once a month or maybe even once a year if that was an option. Um, please do not flood my email box with updates. That's me. I choose that box every time given the opportunity. Um, please, please don't send me information about uh, community events happening over the weekend. Um, I feel like I, you know, I can find that on my own. I don't need emails about that. I definitely don't need a separate email for each one of them. Um, please do not continually send me reminders um, about joining something online. Like uh, my most recent one is is next door. My husband he invited me to it, and even though he only invited me once, it now emails me every few days. And I guess it's just gonna do that until the end of time, you know. And no matter how many times you hit the spam button, sometimes it just ends up there again in your primary email box. Like you can't get rid of it, you know. And then it's just like looming over you like a dark, scary cloud. Oh, sign up for next door, and then. Before you know it, months have gone by and you actually have this like underlying anxiety about signing up for next door. Even though like I don't really have a need for that. I don't want to sign up for it. I don't want it, you know. No thank you. But there isn't really a no thank you button. Very rarely do you get that button where it says you can unsubscribe, you know. But but that's really even just your personal email. Like then when you start to get into work emails, like what is happening when people are sending out emails with all kinds of incorrect information and then they have to send out an email, oh sorry, we got that wrong again. We get it wrong every time and wigged everybody out, but don't worry, that here's the correction, you know, and then that necessitates at least two emails involved in that. And if you miss the second one or really even the first one, you're totally confused about what's going on. You know, so I, I mean, I guess you just have to rely on your work colleagues at that point. Oh, so that's really something, right? And then you get all these emails at work about such and such is expiring, either some paperwork or a password somewhere. You got to got to update that, you know, so that's another administrative task that you have to take care of. Hope you don't miss that email. I honestly don't know what happens to you if you don't change your password before it expires, you know? I mean, does it just say, I'm sorry, you can't ever log in again? You know, do you have to go somewhere to like a technology office somewhere and 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 have someone help you make a new password? Does it just kind of let you, oh, tis tis, shame. You should have come up with a new password, but don't worry, we're going to let you do it now. I'm sorry you can't use your last 30 passwords that you signed up with, so please come up with something that you'll never remember and have to constantly send yourself a forgot my password email thereby restarting the cycle, you know, <sighs> very frustrating. And there's there's just so many emails, you know, I'm in school right now and, and it's just, they swamp you with email and I, I am typically an obsessive email checker. I like to check everything, make sure I haven't missed anything, but I just really struggle with the Microsoft Outlook, you know, within the internet setup. It just, doesn't work well for me. I don't understand what's happening with the focused in the other tab. How is it deciding what goes in focused and what goes in other? I feel like I'm just losing stuff. It's, you know, the flagged stuff, like it doesn't get put at the top unless you hit the pin. So the flag only turns it yellow. So, you know, if you want to make sure you don't forget it and it doesn't get swamped by a bunch of other emails, you better make sure you hit the pin button or else, who knows, even if it's yellow, are you really scrolling down that far in your email? I mean, let's be honest here. <sighs> Anyways, that's pretty much how I feel about email. Very overwhelming. Please, for the love of God, everyone sending out email, make sure you read your message and that it has what you want to say in it. Please, please don't send anything unnecessary. Anyways, that's everything. Email, you guys. Don't forget to check it.